Welcome back to the 530. We're continuing our coverage of the DOJ's decision to seek the death penalty in the top shooters trial. Join me, joining me live right now is attorney John Elmore. John, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. Now that we know that this is going to be a death penalty trial, what's going to happen? Well, first of all, let me just say this. Um, the Justice Department made that decision. Um, it is not going to make this country safer. It will probably serve uh, to some people the, the, um, retribution um, because like an eye for an eye or two for two. But it's not going to make this country safer. Uh, in in 1974, uh, uh, there were only three mass shootings in the United States. Today, there were over, over 600 this year. Um, and so, um, you know, Page and Jundrin is not going to going to hurt anyone. He's doing, uh, he's in life, he, life without possibly parole. Um, and uh, there are a lot of other things that need to be done to make this country safer. Uh, there are more AR-15s, this uh, weapon of mass destruction that has been the weapon of choice by so many mass shooters. Uh, there are more AR-15s uh, in circulation in the United States than there are the population of the people of the state of New York. So, and a lot of those weapons are in the hands of crazy, dangerous people, people that want to overthrow the government, people that want to attack uh, synagogues, African-American churches today in our country. You can't go to a mall, send your kids John, to school. John, if I can just interrupt you real quick because we only have about 30 seconds left in the show. Will there like, because of this decision, will there be, now be two trials? Oh uh, yeah, first trial would be the guilt phase. The second trial would be uh, whether or not he gets the death penalty. I'd also like to point out the fact that the average time that it takes a, a person on death row for a federal offense um, is, is 18 years before that person gets executed. Great so there's a lot. Yeah, this is great information, John. We're going to have more from you uh, coming up tonight on Channel 2 News tonight.